All right, so good morning, good afternoon. Uh, welcome, wherever you're following us from. Um, this is Focus on Liberal Television Live. We're here in central Liberia, the central Liberian capital of Banka. Abom County, we are posted uh, at the old counter park here. Uh, we're coming to you live and direct from Banga City, the central Liberian city of Banga. Uh, welcome for joining us. Uh, the town check in Liberia is exactly uh, 11.56 a.m. That's the time in Liberia. Uh, thanks for joining. My name is Prince Moba. We have come here to uh, speak with citizens of uh, Banga on national issues. Many national issues, as you may be aware, we have the issue of the national population and housing census. We have the issue of the economy. People, I mean, complain that the economy does not look good. We have the elections in months to come, the, uh, the legislative and presidential elections in months to come. So we want to speak with uh, Liberian citizens. Most of them will be business people and ordinary Liberians and motorcyclists to tell us exactly how the economy looks like for them and how life looks like for them and what they can tell us about uh, the ongoing housing and population census. We started uh, today, should be the ninth day, if I'm correct, uh, since the holiday announced or proclaimed by the president. Today should be the ninth day of the census processes. Uh, uh, does it look like for them? So we taking the camera uh, across, speaking to people who uh, we, we have, have intended to speak with, and we know that they will tell us something uh, important. Before my camera is a gentleman here, let me just speak to you briefly. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Fine. You're fine. I'm seeing you behind a box. What do you do here? Uh, I'm from IP. Okay. Money change, money, money a changer, right? Yeah, money a All right. So tell me, what's your name? My name is Samuel Pinsai. All right. So Sam, how's, how's the basin looks like? Uh, fine. All right. This is fine. When you say fine, how can you explain that? The business is fine because no day go free. Okay. So time will come, we got our full money. Okay, so yeah, as much as he's doing something and he can get a delivery, it's okay, right? Yeah. Great. So let's talk something about it. census based here, the housing and population census. Do you know what it means when we say census? You know about that? Yes. All right. So uh, since the exercise started, uh, have you have you been counted in the first place? Have you been enumerated? Uh, well, if I have been counted, then maybe it will be to my house. But we spend a day on the road. Okay. Yeah. But since you can spend a day on the road, I mean, have you received call from your house or maybe information from your house that enumerators went there and they did not see you, they asked for your information? I'm and talking about came. your house. I'm sure people can make it to the house. Uh -huh. No one has called me from there yet. Okay, that's great. So, I mean, but you can see the enumerators passing around. Yeah, yeah. But they can't come to you. No. All right. Not yet. But you're supposed to be counted now. You say you can't be to your house. How do you think you'll be counted? Uh, when I ask, mm -hmm. they be, I think you're on the path where they will go and tell you how many persons live in the house. Then they need the people to you. As well, but that why you, that's, that's why you, that's that, why I think. Okay, so up to now you are hoping that they will go to your house mm -hmm. and they will ask for you and your information will be given by either your wife or your children. Yes. Okay, so let me ask you this, this final question before I, I, I think even here and go to the other gentlemen. Uh, let, let's assume today's election day. I mean, we have the current president, President George Weir, he's, he's in the chair. We have uh, the former vice president, Joseph Walker. We have... Uh, Elizabeth Cummings, who, who represents the Alternative National Congress. Then we had Tewan Bungalo. If, if you were at the, at the ballot box now, you had the ballot papers in your hand, who you who you prefer? Hmm. Well, I have not decided yet. Okay. So, but, but what do you think? What can you tell somebody? Even though you have not decided, but how do you look at them? The four names are called. Oh, they are all, they are all from them, what they fight. And they are all illegible. Okay. So in any of them can become a good leader? Any of them can be a good leader. 
Thank you so much. Your name again, I'm brother. Thank you. So this is focus on Liberia. We stay here. This is the old counter parking in Banga. If you know Banga very well, we are at the old counter parking. Let me just turn the camera around so you can see where we are. This is the, the Kokoya Road here going uh, straight down here. If you take the camera on this side, you are getting to the main road. Uh, the, the passes through Banga Broad Street. At the, across the road there is the, the police station. Uh, police station here uh, at uh, the Granta parking. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it very well. And of course, here we are. Uh, there's a police station across the road there. This is the old Granta parking. And the road going down, so it's the one that goes to Granta. If you go down the road, you see the, the new uh, Granta parking down there. So this is it. This is how it is here. And we're here. So we're trying to speak with uh, people who will be willing to talk to us. Let me bring the camera to another gentleman here. Uh, my friend and brother. Uh, good morning. How are you doing? I'm okay. All right. What is your name? I'm Jalawa Miller. Jalawa Miller. Where am I speaking to you from, Jala? I'm speaking from the Uganda Park. In Banga. In Banga City. So uh, let me ask you this question, Jala. What do you know about housing and population census? When they say census, what do you know about that? What I do know about census is that when we talk about census, we are talking about collecting the total population of a country and some other information as it relates to the total number of the population in the country, educated people, male and female, as to help the country whenever you are ready project proposal mm -hmm. for aid from a foreign country or an international community, then the international community will there know how many educated people in the country, how many male, female, you know, then they can able to render some assistance to you. Thank you. I mean, I love the way you answer the question. So, are you aware that the census process has started in Liberia? Are you aware of that? I'm quite aware, but somehow unfortunate because since the president made the proclamation week before last Friday, mm -hmm. today making it a ninth day. Mm -hmm. I haven't been enumerated. Have you seen any enumerators uh, have, around maybe your house? I'm not talking about on the street, about in the street, rather, but I at have your house. I've seen some of them in the community passing, but actually to be bored to you, mm -hmm. I haven't seen some of them at my house. Wow, nine days now. Nine so days. what do you think about the process? What do you think? I think what is happening in the whole sense of issue, the whole sense of business is off track okay. because when the president made a proclamation week before last Friday, citizens stay at their bureau residence awaiting the enumerator. Unfortunately, nobody was saying. Now the president out of the country with some delegate that we are not knowing of the present. And today we are seeing people saying that they are carrying on enumeration. But the worst part of it is that mm -hmm. National Election Commission provided their calendar to us saying that voter registration project will begin December 15 mm -hmm. with three different regions. But as we can see now, the sensor is now in limbo. So I think it's just a chaos going to the election process. But another unfortunate area because I follow the UNFPA mm -hmm. putting out a statement saying that sensor on course. But I think in my mind, the reason they made that statement because those are international community when they speak, they speak volume. So if they will say that censor is not on course, then it means that Liberia will somehow go in the street and go in the wrong place. So I believe in my mind, the, the UNFPA was just trying to cover up the government so that the citizens can remain calm. Thank you, brother. I like your answer. So uh, the second question I'd like to ask you. It's uh, assumed that today is election day and uh, you are in the hall. You are before the ballot boxes. You have the uh, the, the, ballot pap the ballot papers in your hands. And you have the current president, President George, we are on the ballot paper. You have former vice president, Joseph Boaga, on, on the paper. You have uh, uh, Alexander Kumis, who represents the ANC. You have uh, Tiawan Gongolo, also from NIMBA. I don't know whether he'll be an independent or so. Tell me, who do you think? Who, who, who do you prefer? Or who, you, who do you think Liberia and Liberians? She prefer. Among the names are just here. Mm -hmm. If today was election day, mm -hmm. I will vote for Ambassador Baka. Reason is, mm -hmm. I will follow the because, example. Because he's from Bong County? No. Is it because he's from Bong County? He's from Lofa. He's from Lofa County. Mm -hmm. That's not the reason. But the reason is, 
I will vote for him because of age and age comes with experience. Okay. Like the people of Brazil did, I will follow that precedent. Oh, what difference you think Ambassador Boga can do as compared to this current government? Right? The difference he can do is that because he promised, and we'll hold him by a word, saying that if any corrupt government official is being caught, the law will take a post. Thank you, Yanni, making my brother. Thank you, Yala. I enjoy your 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 interaction with me. Another gentleman is here. I, I think he does um, when he achieves business. I'm sure. Let me just I'm proud to bring him back uh, to the camera. So, uh, welcome to a focus on library. How are you doing? I'm fine. What's your name? My name is Mohammed Kone. Mohammed. What do you do here, Mohammed? What kind of business you do? Uh, I do a little material business, money changing. Okay, so you can change money. Yeah. Somebody come with a US, you get a Labrand dollar. Very Somebody good. come with a Labrand dollar, they want US, you sell it to them. Okay. Somebody want scratch card, you sell it to them. Yeah, Some, money. You do mobile money thing. Okay, that's great. So, Mohammed, uh, how the business? Well, should bless God because, you know, we see the light that will come straight down the road. Hmm. Uh, but business, you know, is not really going down well with the expectation of the US. Okay. Uh, according to my own, you know, little, you know, analysis and things, uh, the economies of Liberia has already collapsed. You think so? I think so. They say the economy has collapsed. It's collapsed totally because there's no improvement in the business. And the money, even Liberia currency, to get you know, in the business for all the business to all the business according to, is very much difficult. And also to even get the US dollar, you know, like we used to do business with some people working with uh, selling rubber to Firestone. Mm -hmm. All those things bring problems to us. And also the civil servant is paying them and all those things because those are people that give, you know, money to us for all the, you know, give to us. And president has been to you, some people they more than two months, they're not paying them yet. And all that, you know, you know, it's often, you know, chaos in the country, you know, making problems. So, I mean, once the, the workers are not paid, they will not bring the money to you to change? No, absolutely. And you said that you will not get money to, to do business. Just, you know, and other people who, their family will get them money, they will not bring money to you. you not just so you think, based on all of those factors, the economy has collapsed? Yeah, very much corrupt. You know. So I also heard some people coming to you asking for US and they say no US. Yeah, because of the same thing I told you, if the money, the business is moving you know, according to, you cannot just deny that you know not to give them money. But uh, because of you know the business is not moving, that's the business make, you know, when they come now since this morning, you know, if I can tell you, you know, to so even change two hundred dollars very much difficult. Great. So so I mean let me ask you this question. This census thing, you, and you know what they call census or you don't know? Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so since you know, since the process started, you've been counted? Uh, no, really. No? I, I know that. Wow, but uh, I'm sure you can be on the room most of the time. I mean, have you received call from your house that all the people here, they want to check you, Mohammed, check your, your age, your this and that, all the kinds of things? No, no. Since uh, I, I saw people moving around and things, you know, I've been here, I was training, but since then, you know, I don't even find who I don't even right behind the depot here, but nobody has called me and said, oh, people to, to your house, come there, you know, for counting. Well, but do you see the enumerators passing around? Yeah, I saw them. I saw them you know, moving around. So what do you make of the entire sensor thing? What do you think? Uh, like what my police said, you know, uh, we just feel you know, somehow disappointed, you know, in uh, like rural issues today. Mm. Because anything will go by procedure. So the way we expect things to go is not going in the right direction. Because the sensor we heard about, you know, uh, far back. But, you know, there's several expecting that, you know, they should, they should, you know, you know, start a process, you know, uh, in, in a rally hole, really. And now, with, you know, like one of my police said, you know, talk about, you know, uh, uh, election, you know, or uh, registration coming in December. Yeah, so, so now, you know, look at the time, you know, and the, the population that we have to check there, you know, within you know, just two weeks' time, so very much difficult. So you think it's also, I mean, we, we might not get a result? No, 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 no. We're not getting a rough result. We can't get it. Thank you, Mohammed. So let me ask you the last question. Mohammed, let as soon as you, you are in election hall, you go going to vote, the ballot papers given to you. Then you look on the ballot, ballot papers, you have uh, current president, President George, who yeah, he's there. You have former vice president, Joseph Walker, he's there. Then you have uh, Elizabeth Benedict Cummings, who represents the ANC, he's there. Then you have Tiawan Gokulo, who comes from Nimba County. Tell me, Mohammed, who do you think? Who do you prefer, or who do you think that brings you prefer? Uh, uh, you know, first of all, I want to tell you that I know the current moment we need regime change. Okay. Why am I'm, I I'm saying this? Because uh, we see a lot of corruption in this country, and the past government, 
who expected that you know current government could you know, you know audit the past government why they came in you know, and they came to the power. But you know that couldn't work. And as I speak to you personally, you know there are a lot of things going on which is very much wrong. Internationally, you know, people are saying that yes it did, that we are not pulling the right direction. So in that thing, in that direction, you know, we look at someone that like gets experience to come and see you know, how can we able to put like into map. And who is that person that has experience? You say you wow. People say you sleep too much. They say it's a sleeper baby. Come on, let's forget about that. Liberians always criticize something that will already be good for them. And I want to say this that you know, we are looking at experience. We're looking at you know what's what you know. What Brazil they know, who wants to say that type of example? That yes, you know, the older people you know already been know who things you know, to see that you know, how the youth can be able to you know lead to this good direction. So you think the youth that I'm sure the youth population voted, I mean, in their numbers for president, we are the last election. Exactly. You, think, you think that was a mistake? And, and, you know, this time right now, we are talking to our police and our friends around and things. We try to tell them the important. And everybody has seen, everybody has seen how things are moving. So president has speaking to you. We don't want you know, to continue with this government. Thank you so much, Mohammed. What's your name again? Call your phone. Mohammed Kane. Thank you, Mohammed. Mohammed does a um, money exchange business. This is his, his, his boot. Uh, you see some, some liberty in there and some US that are on the other side. Another gentleman said, You want to talk to me too? How are you doing? I'm fine here. Yeah. I'm good. What's your name? Uh, my name is Darlington White. I'm a junior student of John Kimo Bakalu. Okay, Jalino, uh, what, what's your class as, at the school? I'm uh, in France. That's great, Jalino. Jalino, what business do you do? Uh, I do uh, little mini-core around. Mini? Yeah. What about mini-mini-mini? How you can do that thing? Leave what I didn't see. Mini-core, mini-core. They want you, if you give me money, I send it in your food. Okay. So how do you do it? How do you? How much for one? How much for maybe 10 mini, yeah, 5 yeah. mini, 20 minutes? How much for that? Since you are a mini girl right now, if you give me a uh, 20 that I send you 20 minutes, because the company cut it down, if you give me the 50 that I send you 10 minutes. So the company cut it down? Yeah. So since the company cut it down, I mean, is it affecting you or is it not affecting you? Uh, really, it affects me because. Mm -hmm. When I go, why it affects me? Because when I go around and somebody that don't have much money, I have a three minutes, I mean, five minutes, and I send a five minutes when you receive the three minutes, because some people may plow with us because they, they feel that we are stealing from them. Yeah, that because is now of uh, fault, uh, fault from the company. Do you explain to them that I say this is not my fault before you can get any money? Because my say it happened to me. <laughs> One time I was asking the guy why, why this is happening. Yeah, I always explain it to the to, to my my customer that all oh, this lama for is uh, from the company uh, that, uh, that the company called this down. Okay. Uh, I don't know the reason why the company called it down. All right. So uh, let me ask you this question. You, you, I mean, what's that age? Have you reached, reached voting I'm, age? I'm gonna say yes of age. So many you can vote, right? Oh, yeah. And this since that thing, they both say the person around checking people. Did not check it before? No. But you can see them to your house. Really, I can see people passing around. I have been hearing on rumors, on rumors that people are doing sensor around. But I really, I don't know what the sensor program is about. Okay, so you are not too aware about it. Yeah. Okay, so sensor program is about the people who come to your house. They will check it. I just about checking the people in the country, taking other data that that will be important for the growth and development of the country. They will check the people that live in it. Check the people that and that the people who are working, people who are not working, the number of men, the number of women, the educated ones, and those who are not educated. That was the sensor me. So let me ask you the last question, uh, Darlington. You, you, you. If, if today was election day, now you go to the to the to the hall. They give you the ballot paper. You have our press. And the current president, President Josh, we are on the people. They had Joseph Buakai on the people, the former vice president on the people. They had Kewon Gongulu there, you had Alexander Kumis there. Who you vote for, Dalinon? Tell us. Uh, really, when I get on the ballot paper, I want to, I want to cast my vote for a rap. For a rightful person, we will bring a change in the country. Yeah. Because right now, the economic system, the way the government is running the country, we are not understanding our business. Our little business is not running. Even to pay our school fees is very hard. And I want to make a change. Um, my, to my, to my uh, analysis, I would like to put uh, Joseph Yuman Baka, who has more experience about the country, to put in the, to get our cash in, our cash in out for it, whether it will bring change or not. Uh, but I believe that when when I get uh, Joseph Baka, he let him will bring. You think so? You think so? You think, so? You think Joseph Baka can be a, a, a better president? A better leader in the country because he have a more experience of the country. Thank you so much, Alan. Uh, thank you so much. I hope that uh, your mini business will be good, that you'll be able to pay your your, your school fees and other things. Thanks so much for speaking to me, Alan.
All right. We're speaking with marketeers here. We're speaking with our partner, our Liberian citizens here. If you know Banga, this is Ganta Parking, the old Ganta Parking. This is Central Liberia, the Central Liberian city of Banga. Uh, the lady is selling. Oma, I want to tell you, how are you coming home? Why, what kind of business are you doing here, so? Huh? Oh, that roaster corn you're selling? I mean, you can go buy it. If you're selling plenty of corn, or you can buy it. You can buy the corn. I mean, you're selling one, one corn. Okay, 30 50. So, how the corn business looking there? Some people say business high here, is that true? Yeah, they have to buy. They have to buy. Say, you give me money, not buy corn from here. One, hey, amen. So, are they, are, are they, what do you mean the business has? So, so what do you say to that to the country? Huh? Yeah, okay. So, I want to ask you some questions now. Mm -hmm. This people say people go to our horses, then they check in us. Somebody now come to your horse to check you, send you bang in Bangaya. But the play you live in, are you living somewhere? Yes. They don't come to check you before? No. Okay. So, uh, the, 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 the second thing I'm going to ask you now is, today the election day, you're not going to go vote. So you go into the election hall now, they put the paper. You got the, the, the current president, President Joe, we are on that paper. Then you got former vice president Joseph Boga on that paper. Then you got Elizana Kumis on our paper. Then you got Tewan Gunglo on our paper. They call our paper ballot box. I mean ballot paper. Who you be voting for, my sister? Uh -huh. But if you, if you want to talk to somebody to vote for somebody, who you think you can tell them to vote for? I can say vote for my party. Who? Joseph Boga? Open. Oh, open. You can say vote for open. Okay, that's great. You think Obon can still be maintained, right? Yeah. You can still be maintained as a president? Yeah. Okay. What's your name, my sister? My name is Christana. Christana. Thank you for speaking to me, yeah, Christana. Thank you so much. Okay, folks, so we stay here at the Banga Ganta Park. This is the old Ganta Park. We're taking our camera around gradually to speak with people who will be willing to talk to us. This is Focus on Liberia Television Live here. My name is Springs Mova. Uh, I'm, I'm bringing to you live, I'm bringing this broadcast to you live and direct from central Liberia, Banga City, Bong County. Uh, we're trying to, to get the views of our citizens. There's another gentleman, I'm sure he does, they see him money exchange business. My brother, uh, good afternoon, I'm sure after 12 now, let me see my time. Good afternoon, how are you coming on? All right, yes, after 12. Uh, what's your name? Benjamin who? Edward. Okay, Benjamin, how you coming home? I'm good. So, Benjamin, what kind of business you do here? Changing money, money exchange. Okay, it's changing money, money exchange. How the money exchange business looking there? In which way? How the business? You can make profit, or the business high, or the business not high. People can come to you plenty to change money. You can get more profit before you go home, or the profit not drop small. Now, business I'm going. Oh, the owner of my business I'm going. But I'm just not coming so. Business then. Ah. Okay. So, uh, what are you responsible for that? To my, to my belief, most people try to earn a club a while. Oh. So everybody saving their money. Yes, so saving. Okay, that's great. So let me ask you this question now. Uh, um, you know, how old are you? One. So you know about the census business? They say people pass around checking people. You know about them? I heard about it. Though. Okay, you heard about it. But somebody not can you to check it yet? No. Why? No. Nobody not. I don't even know because first I heard they say now who some people say who was it? The money I saw some people pass it around. But they right they yeah, nobody not can you to check me. Okay. Okay, that's great. So, um, the next question I want to ask you, Lord Esuna, you can you vote? You not vote before? Yeah, I won't. Okay, so you'll be voting again in the coming time, I mean next year. So, today, today that election day, now you not go to the ballot people, they both get the ballot people to go vote. The ballot boss, rather. Then they get the ballot people to go vote. Then you got the current president, George Weah, on that paper. Then you got former vice president, Joseph Boga, on that paper. Then you got... Um, it is not coming on our paper. You got to one Gonglo on our paper. Who you be voting for? President, I 
For what now? You're young man. And you're better than young people president. I know. I don't want to order our president. We're the young people. Yeah, but Tina goes straight. Oh. Yeah, now. The way I see it, Tina, we are moving. Okay. The way you so move. But but things will not be the same every time. I know. But now I get voting. Okay. Who you be voting for? I can look at Cummings and voting or Waka. Okay. Either of them? Yeah. Other Cummings or Waka? Okay. And you think they can be... They can be, they can be, they can be the change you need, right? Everybody yeah, has to explain. Okay. Thank you, my brother. Thank you for speaking to me. You want to talk to me? Who wants to talk to me? Yeah, we stay here. Yeah. Uh, we are taking the camera around. Yeah, okay. Come, come talk to me. Come, so. Uh, how are you doing, my brother? You're a young man, too. I mean, you make a business, too? Yeah, What kind of business are you doing? Mini business? Yeah. So what, when I say mini business, what do you mean? Okay. So I'm here for five minutes, I'm here for ten minutes, I'm here for thirty minutes. But I'm told I'm told they, they minute they now cut it down, that true? Yeah, they copy the cut the minute down. Uh -huh. Before they cut it down, they, they told you? No, we know in from a while they cut the minute down, they wouldn't cut it down. You know? So since they cut the meaning down, I mean, how are they basically looking at it? People can complain or people can complain? So it affecting you, eh? So they sent something here, they not check it before? Saying they sent something started, they probably not check it? No, since the sensor started, no one has checked it. So I want to see the main person who has been here, so they know how to come to the person who has asked me if I had a good country or not. So no one has checked it. Okay, so how old, are you? how old are you? Sorry to ask you. I'm 25 years old. So meaning you can vote, right? Yes. You not vote before? I've voted before. Okay, so this, this time around you'll be voting again. Yes. So the same question I asked your friend. Uh, today that election day, you now go to the hall, in the election hall. The people now give you the paper. Uh, you got the current president, President Joe, we are on it. You got Omer Bwakai on it. Uh, the former vice president. Then you have uh, Alexander Cummings on it. The ANC man. Then you have Tiawang Gonglo on it. The broom, the broom man. Yeah. Who you vote for? So, very low, you know, the exposed wow, not be very necessary, very much. Okay, so but who, who, who you think when you want to talk to somebody, what you can tell them? Huh? When you want to talk to somebody, they'll vote. If I want to vote, if I want to vote, I will call the president to vote. I'm the current president. Okay, the current president. Yeah. Meaning you'll vote for him. Okay, thank you. Your name again, my brother. My name is Amanda Bruce. Thank you so much. So, folks, keep following. Focus on Liberia. We'll stay here. Uh, we are in Banga. Uh, this is the old Kanata parking area. The dusty road I'm on is the road that goes to Kokoya. Uh, the road that leads to the home of uh, the current senator of Bon County, Senator Prince Mui. Uh, the road goes, it passes uh, uh, in many areas of town. And this, uh, so we hear a motorcyclist. I think I talked to some motorcyclists here too. Uh, I'm sure they're running, they, they, they're running around here. Let me see what I can speak to a few of them. Yeah. You see how things look like for them. So, I mean, you guys are riding motorboat. How are you doing? You're all right. You're all right, my man? Yeah. Why, why are you going? I am here running traffic. Okay. So, why you can run the traffic here? From where to where? From where to where? Get around town? So, when somebody says you must keep there in the bush, are you going there, too? I had a boy in the bush. Okay. So, what are your name, my brother? Prince. S. Dolo. So, Prince Dolo, how the, the motorcycle business looking with you here? Hmm. We find it difficult because the traffic is not easy. Whatever the traffic is not easy? The traffic is not easy. The traffic is not easy. No money in the country, so the traffic is hard. Okay. So, the way people used to ride a motorbike and then they're not looking at that. Okay. So, this. Mm -hmm. In a day for you, one want to say it's hard. Okay. So they say something, they put talking and they put not check you too as a sensor, I mean as a citizen, they put not come to your hall to check you. Yeah, somebody came to my hall in the morning, but I'm on my way, he said, later. 
they sell it, they free the Yeah. Oh, they didn't ask you to say so they can check you? No, no. Well, I'm away from your family. But well, you're supposed to start so they can check you now, man. It's important to check you. All right. Okay, so uh, let me ask you the last question. You can vote? Yeah, I can vote. So uh, today, what election day? Who you vote for? You got your we are there. You got Joseph Boga there. You got Elena Kumi there. You got Tiwan Gugu there. Who you vote for? Huh. I'm pushing now. <laughs> yeah, hi. Eh? No, you're not. I mean, <laughs> we want to know. We only want, we want to get citizen view. It's important. So we can know who is the leading candidate. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to vote for Joseph Boga. For what now? The people say they prepare a sleeping baby. Thank you so much. So let's take our camera to the other side of the road. We'll speak to a few person. Then we're going to call this uh, live. And then we're going to uh, go to another uh, site or another uh, location of the town or of the city, rather. To also bring you a view. But this is important. Uh, we do this to get citizens' view and reaction on things and issues affecting us as citizens and people of the country. So this is uh, a Ganda Park area. We stay here. Another gentleman is here. Let me bring my camera to see what I can speak to this gentleman. How you doing, my brother? I'm fine. Welcome to Focus on Library. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, so um, I'm sure you do money exchange business here, right? Yes, sir. So just tell us, uh, tell the, the viewers, where am I speaking to you from? Yeah, yeah, speaking to Umaru Park, Barrier Park, Okay. Okay. Umaru, um, how are the business looking there? Thank God. Uh, the business, uh, we are fighting it. Okay. Because you're fighting it. Business person, you, you have to do what you need to do every day okay. uh, to make sure that things, things is possible. Okay. Uh, we are working, we are doing our best to continue the business. That's great. So, this sense of thing here, do people not check you? Yeah, actually, I, I left my house and called me from there that the sensor people is there. As he sent my food news, so I did not be part of the people as he so I give my food news. Okay, that's great. So many, many you give you give information to them. Yes, I give my information. That's great. Let me, many you've been enumerated, yes, you've been counted. Yes, sir. Great, Umaru. You, you, are you blessed? So let me ask you the final question, Umaru, before I go. The, today that election day, not the election today, election day, you go into the hall. The people now give you the Thank the, you, the paper to vote. Then you have four persons you on that paper. Yeah. You have uh, President George Weir. Mm -hmm. You have uh, Joseph Boakai. Yes. You have uh, Elizana Cummings. Yeah. You have Tiawan Gongolo. Yes. Tell us, who do you think, uh, who do you prefer, or who do you think that brings in Liberia prefer? For me, mm -hmm. uh, in my own ideas, I think I can take uh, Joseph Boakai. Okay. Why you think so? People say Joseph Boakai can sleep too much in old. The people don't have a, the common parable that a scooting old man can see why a standing young man cannot see. <laughs> so for me, uh, it's an elderly man. He has experienced a in life. He has a lot to give out to the Nigerian people. So I just believe that here in it, uh, because experience is everything in life. With your experience, Sometimes you get some difficulty on the way. But if you know where you are going, and you know where you are coming from, I think it can be okay. That's all. And I believe that you said, but I can also change. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for speaking to me. Uh, you say you prefer Joseph Wakai yeah. as uh, to, to be the next president. Thank you so much. We stay here. We stay speaking with uh, people who. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Yeah, I, I also appreciate you speaking with me, brother. Thank you so much. All right. So this is Banga. We have me uh, uh, since I've been, I've not spoken for a little. I want to speak with you. How are you doing? Yeah. What are you selling, my sister? Cosmetic. Okay, so when they say cosmetic, what do you mean? Okay, so how much do you sell one? For example, if I want to buy a knocker for my shoe, how much do you sell a knocker? All right, so you live on Focus on Liberia. I'm speaking to you from Bangal. How the business with you? When they say very tough, I, I mean. It had to go in eh? They can't buy it before, in eh? Okay. And you are a lady. When the business is tough, like, how you can manage it? 
So now, so now they say I can either present money or oh, then you put money there again. All right. Okay, that's good. So the other thing I want to ask you about is they, they say something here. They put on a check you. So put on a kind of run to check you. Oh, this money they check you. At least you have been checked. Since so I started the interview, only two persons, you and uh, uh, Omaro, said they check me. They check you guys. That's great. So uh, the last question I want to ask you, what your name say? I didn't ask you for your name. Blessing pay. Okay, blessing. Blessing the last question I want to ask you. Can you not vote before blessing? Okay, so you, you can vote. So the last question I want to ask you, blessing, today that election deal, we now go to vote. We in a hall now. The people give all the paper then. That means the ballot paper then. Then we have people then on our ballot paper. One of the persons that on the paper is the president, President George Weir. And another person is Joseph Boakai. Another person is, um, I had a quarter of Alexander Cummings. And the last person is, um, Tiawan Gongulu. Listen, just tell me who you'll be voting for. One, the first person on the paper is President George Weir. The second person is Omer Joseph Boakai. The third person is Elizana Cummings. The fourth person is Tiawan Gongulu, who comes from Nima County. Just tell me who you, who you think uh, you'll be voting for, or librarians will vote for because you are voting for that person. You vote for George Manor Weir, the current president. Great. And, and, and you think, like, you're calling on librarians to maintain him, right? Okay. Thank you so much. Your name again. Oh. Thank you so much for, for speaking to me. Your husband said he wants to talk. Okay, so we see another female here. We want to talk to her. A lot of school ladies who are selling. Uh, another lady is here. Morning, my sister. Uh, good afternoon, brother. We are after 12 already. How are you doing? Okay, let me talk to you, Simona. How are you coming on? Okay, so what are you selling here? I sell dragons. Okay, dragons. What do they call dragons? Okay. Chlora, tissue, data. So those are all dragons. You see your little boy here. Little boy looking for you. So how are they based with you now? Hmm? Yes, okay, I'm not My God's will okay, eh? Okay, that's great. So, I mean, this sense that thing, people not check you? No. You didn't check you? Yes. Oh, you didn't see them passing around? I saw them all this way. Oh, yes, sir. I'm going to go to my children. 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 And your husband was not also there? So, the way you're not there, the men are not there, how do you check you? Maybe they will check all the room of the house when I sit down. Why are you? Money. Orita Moba. Orita, uh, let me ask you the final question. Let's assume that today that election day, Orita now go to vote. Orita is standing in the hall. They give Orita the ballot paper then. They got John We are there. The current president. They got Joseph Boga there, the former vice president. They got Elizabeth Cummings there. They got Tewan Gunglo there. And I'm coming from the Makande. He want to be president too. Or who you carry? You just, you just think that it's very important. We just leave George. We are there because, and, I mean, the things, things are hard, and nobody can actually change anything. No, please vote, man. Oh, that's, that's a right. That's a right to vote. So is that you are speaking out of frustration, right? Yes, because Ena is a So you didn't want responsible for Tina is in. People say that the government is responsible. But you say we're meeting him. Yes. You just said we should meet him here. Even though he's a, he's a head, but things are fine, but yeah, we should continue with him.
The reason is still Yeah. All right, the voice of Marita Mobade, a business woman here in Banga, uh, Bonkande at the old Ganda Parking. She sells uh, drug goods, that's how they call it. Yes, yeah, so let me, I'm seeing uh, at, uh, at, uh, in, uh, his seat. He might be going. How are you doing? Welcome. Okay, what's your name, Baby? Pastor. Okay, we know they start up. All right. So, the final question I want to ask is, what is soon today that election day? I said, what is soon that today is election day, Pastor, or, I mean, Pastor? Okay. So, that means you stay. That he can be a very, we can maintain him, right? You think that okay. you can find another person, person we actually maintain. Thank you so much. All right, folks, so this is how we would like to uh, come to an end with uh, we've been speaking with citizens here in Banga Bum County. We are at the old counter parking in the central Liberian city of Banga. Thanks for following. Uh, do join us another time when we'll be at another part of uh, the city to bring you views from citizens. This is what we will be doing uh, until the election time. And once again, my name is Springs Moba. Let me say uh, thanks to uh, the Fools on Liberia team in the U.S. Uh, Mr. Dennis Ja is the Chief Executive Officer of Focus on Liberia. Mr. Anthony C is the Operation Manager there in the USA, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. My colleague, Tivillus William, is the head of team here uh, in Liberia. Uh, my name is Prince Moba. Thanks for following. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Again, do join us for another broadcast uh, when we shall have come home with another fascinating Fascinating uh, broadcast here from Central Library, Bangladesh. Be with us. Bye bye for now.